it was Core set, then Aspect of Shimza, then Ancient Bonds, right? Or was Rise of the Blood Bond before then? I'm pretty sure Ancient Bonds came first. Um, I mean, this looks really good. We've even got a Mono Death Grip to deal with an egg, which is nice, because they can play a Cryptographer turn 1, we can play this. They can play an egg, we can go Albi's Death Grip. Uh, Hearth Sister is another way to remove an egg. Albi Sage's redundancy against removal, but if I play this defensively, they probably can't actually kill it because they have what Rebuke, Lava Lance, and um, Egg Morph potentially as removal. So I may not need the second Albi Beast. To be honest, I probably don't need this. I'd rather go for more spells, like a Flash Freeze. Perfect. Okay, let's go. Oh, were they milled? Oh, it's Wanderer. Hmm. Well, we want this then. The Mana Death Grip is less good. Because they're unlikely to play something that dies to it next turn. Unless they top deck Cryptographer. In which case, we still have an out in the Flash Freeze. So I'm going to replace this. Okay, fine. Uh, and we'll make a defensive opening. Ooh, that's good. Uh, no, it didn't. It's a prophecy card. Awesome. Yes. That will, that will be the, the difference then. Rescue RX, that's fine. I mean, stunning it doesn't do anything, but that's still fine. Do I bounce it? I have more prisms. Do I, like, play Trinity Wing this turn? It's not worth it, right? Like, I, So Flash Freeze that. Play T-Wing here. Play the plus one attack spell. Replace the healing spell. No, I'll be better. Do I leave this tile up or take it with the Albeast? I don't really want to expose it to Eggmorph, but I also don't want to give my opponent this mana tile. I think playing around Eggmorph is more important though. Second Mana Forger. I probably don't need that so much. Cool. This is okay. It's pretty hard for this to get removed. My opponent can't reach with uh, Lightbender. So, unless they're playing Thumping Wave, which they could be. Um, I main deck it these days. Then it's pretty difficult to get rid of. They could Flash Wander me here. Um, which would be pretty awkward, because then the Hailstone Prison isn't quite as good. Risen. Really? <laughs> oh, that's actually okay. So I can... Oh, it's awkward actually. Okay, I don't need two of these. I can play a Trinity Wing, but then I don't necessarily get the ability to shoot it. Um... Don't always get the right teaching. Frigid on generals and gravity well made the difference. Oh yeah, like, don't get me wrong, there's been some pretty significant nerfs. I, I think I'll bounce this, actually. Because I can bounce it, play T-Wing, like, discard the flash freeze. Uh, and that's just pretty good. Or, I guess the other option is just, like, bounce it, um, Frigid Corona again, Like BBS crypto. This is an okay turn. Death grip, that's exciting. Yeah, we'll we'll get rid of this. Um So, probably should have just taken this tile, because my opponent can deny it from me now. 
Um, yeah, I should have stood on this tile and played the crypto. So a bit of a mistake there because I was rushing. But not a huge deal. Risen is surprisingly decent against Fat. Oh yeah, it's great. Uh, it's great against Fault. Oh. Maybe they can't take this tile. That would be sweet. Then I have a mana tile. I'm unfortunately starved of Wanderer answers, but that's kind of okay. So, what? Eat this. Play Trinity Wing. Uh, eat this. Flash Freeze. Trinity Wing. If I play Death Grip, I'll mill a card. I'm going to replace this Cryptographer. Oh. I think now is the time to wing. Because with this, if I draw like a Polarity next turn, it could be really big. So we go Flash Freeze. Play this. Eat the 2-4. Um, buff myself, I guess. Swing. Is it worth healing? Next thing I go, Owlbeast, Corona, or Lassen, or BBS. Corona, Owlbeast, Corona, BBS, right? Basically trying to maximize my ability to deliver a massive polarity if I draw it. Yeah, so this is just getting frozen forever, so that's not a problem. Uh, polarity. Actually, I could just kill this Wanderer. Yeah, like Aspect, Nom, Warbird, you to death. That seems great. Is it worth it? What if I just freeze this? If I freeze it, I might draw polarity. But I want to play the Albi Sage first if I'm doing that. Which is fine, I can do that. If I surround my opponent, do I get punished? Kind of no, I guess. There might be something I'm not thinking of. They can dispel this. Yeah, okay, let's play it safe. I am still going to play this Albies though. Oh, they can EMP, so I do have to worry about that a bit. Which means I should probably hit them in the face. Like, if they EMP, they still die, I think. They, this is a 4-4. This is a 4-2. Cool. Uh, GG. Exactly for the, the thingy. I hope you learned your lesson. Wow, they got destroyed. Like, that was not close. And I, like, I made mistakes, but that was not close. I, it makes sense, I guess. Like, I've struggled with Arcanists against Arcanists as Wanderer a couple times. Like, Arcanist Shida is surprisingly good against Wanderer. Because if you get off to a reasonable proactive plan where you just, like, slam an Albeast to make it bigger and the Wanderer player's like, oh, I've only got two hard removal spells. That was disgusting. Hey, Gunnagoth, thanks for joining